Hey guys, it's Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. Um, sorry for the delay. I was not feeling well this morning. Uh, we had two stressful days to start the week and my body was in fight and flight so I needed to do uh, a treatment and now I feel really well and the sun is shining as you can see and that's the other reason I'm late is because I had to maneuver things out here because I just could not uh, stay inside. So I'm going to wait a little bit here and see if a bunch of you can jump on here with me and sorry for the delay it's just if I'm not in good shape then I'm no good to you guys good morning Kimberly good morning Jill glad to have you guys we'll see if we get a couple more people on here look at my beautiful sunny weather here in northern Idaho I'm wearing a very light little jacket and we got snow still melting behind me probably a good foot of snow or more down there under the trees good morning Chad so glad to have you guys joining me uh, bear with me here. I'm putting a couple things in place on my iPad and hopefully the dog does not knock me off the porch today because I'm close to the edge. <laughs> All right, what are you guys up to today? And the big question of the day, do you believe in yourself? <laughs> yes, the outdoors chat. It is such a gorgeous day. I could not stay cooped up in my she cave. Thank you, Kimberly. It is beautiful out, and I take every, absolutely every opportunity I can to be out in this. Uh, yesterday it was very rainy and dreary and like that damp, bone chilling kind of stuff, so this is just awesome. Our weather, welcome to Idaho. Our weather changes every five minutes, so you'll, you'll notice it's going to go cloudy and then sunny and then cloudy, so hopefully you guys can see and hear me okay. But um, in the wee hours of the morning, um, I had something scheduled, but this popped into my uh, brain, which I always feel is a little bit of a divine intervention, if you will. Um, God's always transplanting things into my head, which is good. Um, lots of good things have been accomplished because of that. So the reason I thought I would talk about this today is because if we don't believe in ourselves, for one, who's going to? And second of all, um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I encourage you to do so. Um, I'm going to start really posting a lot on there and trying to use all of our platforms to be encouraging and inspiring. And um, Last year, uh, I had some unusual circumstances occur in my life with uh, my, my family, not my men, but my, my biological family. And, uh, you know... Someone said to me, and this has really stuck with me, that uh, your value does not decrease based on someone else's inability to see your worth. And that is so incredibly important. The format on our screen looks different. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Facebook made some changes. I'm not sure, Chad. I'll have to check it out. And you know what? I did have it up on my screen. Um... Just let me know if you if you have any struggles. I can see your comments, and then it sounds like you guys can hear me okay. And hopefully this outside transmitter works okay today and continues to do so. But um, like I was saying, um, you know, our value doesn't decrease based on someone else's inability to see our worth. And more often than not, that's how we judge ourselves, is based on what other people have to say. And quite honestly... That's a really poor gauge um, because sadly with the sin in the world, you've got people that are jealous, so they will um, have inappropriate things to say to deter you from reaching your goals um, and just being who you are. And uh, good morning, Ashley. Is the sunshine not wonderful? I hope it's helping you to feel better today, girl. Um, so... We need to really focus on believing in ourselves because it is, it is so powerful to see a person that is totally um, and fully just rocking their world. Good morning, Mark. And being able to accomplish things, not just on our own. One of the big and important things is that, you know, I, 
I have accomplished a lot in my life, but I can't take credit for that because God has led the way for me, opened doors, guided me, helped me, and, and trust me, um, believing in ourselves is something that, you know, we have to work at, I think, every day because the enemy will always use that to uh, keep us down, especially when we are on a path that... Um, concerns him and in in my opinion I feel that uh, the mountain man and the mountain boy and I are on that path um, because we are striving to walk the walk and talk the talk and and inspire and and bring people to faith and I think that when you do those kind of things the enemy is really going to attack um, more than ever but one of the things that um, I want to talk about is that I spent a lot of my life with people telling me that I was not going to turn out to an amount to anything and telling me that you know um, I was not ever going to be anything unless I chose their chosen way for me where I feel that God and I talked about this last week that God has a path for each of us and um, It may take time for us to fall into our path and our chosen thing, and I feel that I am walking that walk. Um, and I know that some of you may be always wondering, well, what is my purpose on this earth? I'm going to share something later on after this in the description, so be sure to check back. I'll also put it in the comments so that you're notified. Um, but there's a great gauge or a great tool that we can use on this online to help us kind of narrow down, um, possibly, our chosen path if we aren't familiar with that um, so I will share that with you I just didn't have time to do that um, the other thing is that our belief in ourselves is more important than anyone else's and if we have a strong belief in ourselves we can accomplish anything and that is my purpose of sharing this today because you know when we embarked on this journey out here in northern Idaho and we're preparing to take on this off-grid lifestyle we had many people betting against us and had we listened to that and, and allowed that to define our path, we would never have accomplished this goal and, and be living our dream out here. And you know, things haven't always gone well. Um, we've made mistakes along the way. Uh, we've also, you know, we're walking in a valley right now as a family and I truly believe that through our own courage and our strong faith in God and believing in ourselves that we will walk out on the other side of this and just be so strong, have a stronger family bond, have a stronger faith, have um, the ability to conquer anything. But that's a self-instilled um, courage that I feel that we can each have um, and, and like I said don't get me wrong um, I do waver and I do have those down days and I think we're all going to but when you can build up that courage and just believe that you can conquer and rock anything that you desire your results will be tremendous not that you won't struggle and not that you won't have hard times but you will keep succeeding forward and that is so important um, I have a book called failing forward and it is a great book I encourage you guys to read it um, you know some people said that our Treyer Wilderness Academy isn't going to succeed and that um, you know they just don't understand it and I feel that they just don't see my vision and rather than allow them to stop me in my tracks I, I also have a strong ability to feel empowered to prove them wrong and I've always uh, kind of lived my life that way. I think because of um, the negativity that was always around me, I have kind of formed an extremely positive approach to life. And like I said, don't get me wrong, I have my down days and you know sometimes I need a listening ear to get me out of the, the low place I may have allowed myself to end up. But by grabbing my bootstraps and trudging on, you know, we, we have the ability to conquer anything. So keep that in mind. And if you don't believe in yourself, I do. And I think that you can do anything and I encourage you to have a stronger uh, belief in yourself because you can do it, regardless what other people have to say. 
I want to share a couple things with you. Um, this is out of something that I received from Michael Hyatt. And um, he says that we, we tend to experience what we expect. If we expect to fail, we're going to fail. And if we expect to win, we'll likely win. So here come the clouds. You can probably, I'm not squinting anymore. <laughs> and this is so very true that um, we can have a self-fulfilling prophecy. The idea is that our predictions and our expectations direct our actions, even if we're not aware of it. So if you're a negative thinker and you think negatively, things are going to be negative. But if you can turn that around and just start thinking a little more positively and take that one step at a time and just continue to turn your negativity into positive, you will see such amazing results. And when I read these things and I hear these things, you know, the other thing that comes to mind is that God plays a big role in this, at least in our family. You know, um, off, you know, he has things that are predestined for us, um, but he also uses the Holy Spirit to really empower us and to help us believe that we can accomplish these things. So I hope that's making sense. But um, someone who thinks he can't keep a resolution is the kind of person who will cave more quickly. But at the same time, someone who believes they can achieve a particular goal is more likely to see opportunities where others don't, more likely to work a little harder when it counts, and more likely to persevere when others quit. And that is the part that is so important. Good morning, Jane. Hope you're doing well. That is the thing, is that when we have that belief in ourselves, it causes us to push forward, and it causes us to be somewhat of a visionary. I've been told I'm a visionary and I love that because I always have felt that I see things so differently than other people and that I'm not afraid to embrace things. Uh, the mountain man and I have coined the term that we are embracers because when something comes our way um, and, and it is something that we are really passionate about, we dive in. We don't do it recklessly. We do a lot of research just very fast. And we, we feed off of each other, and I think that that's how we complement each other. And where his research stops, mine picks up. You know, he has the mechanical side of things. I have the more um, electronic and um, the, the visionary side to put it together, like with a website and different things like that. And just we just we complement each other so well, and I love that. So there's no, there's no guarantee you'll accomplish everything you desire, but there's several things you can do to dramatically improve your odds. And this includes taking the right steps, but it also includes avoiding the bad ones. And I'm convinced you can shortcut a lot of trouble by making adjustments with the five mental steps. And those steps that he talks about are turning negative into positive persevering when things, you know, get a little rough or you, you hit a rough spot and a rough patch. And like I said, when you're on a path that is, is God-driven, the enemy is going to give you hiccups. And remember that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. A lot of people get that confused that, the, that God is causing all this negative stuff in our world and that's so not true. That's the enemy trying to sidestep and sidetrack you and derail you, um, not God. So keep pushing and keep pulling in and, and persevering. How many of you guys have struggled with believing in yourself in, in certain circumstances? Or how many of you have felt extreme empowerment to push forward in certain circumstances and you've accomplished things? Share that with me this morning. I would love to hear from you guys. A lot of people wonder, or at least I have to gather, are curious the topics I'm choosing and how it relates to off-grid and preparedness and prepping and homesteading. But... Um, it's really important to be healthy ourselves, both mentally, physically, emotionally, in order to be able to successfully handle things in life. So that's why I started the first of the year off with this and why I've been focusing on organization and personal health and growth and taking care of ourselves 
And like I said earlier, I could have been on time today, but I was not feeling good. Um, my body was just in fight and flight, so I, I needed to do a treatment real quick. And um, it's amazing what can happen when you take care of your yourself and your body. And it'll, like I've told you before, it enables you to be a better person. Um, it enables you to be uh, better to those around you. And mental health is a huge part of being prepared for sure. We just put a blog post out on um, the benefits of homesteading and mental health. That was actually shared today on Instagram um, and it links up to the blog. It's been shared on the Facebook page too, but I highly encourage you to check out that post. It is a huge step in preparedness because when you, whenever you hit a struggle in your life, if you have not learned to handle these struggles, you will instantly go into fight and flight and you will not handle the situations well where if you learn to handle yourself in any circumstance in any situation learn um, skills that can help you cope and help you to de-stress and help you to um, function when you're going through scary situations you will be so much better off and that is so true Jill so so true and that's that's part why I'm sharing this stuff because I truly feel that we need to be more mentally prepared uh, for for anything and then as we progress through this we're gonna move on to talk about different aspects of preparedness wilderness survival um, homesteading and different levels of preparing Jane that is joining us today is the um, She's my idol. When I lived in Pennsylvania, that girl canned and gardened like a champion. I was always so proud to see all the food that she put up. So those are, those are ways of being prepared. One of the resources that I shared today um, that is available down below in the description is Winds of Skelac and the sequel. And um, those, are, those are book references. I told you last week that I was reading a book, but I couldn't share the details. I was given... Um, the sequel uh, to The Winds of Skelac uh, about a week and a half ago, a week ago, and um, was asked to review it for my dear friend. These books are phenomenal, and I want to encourage you to pick them up and, and definitely read them. And I, if you haven't read The Winds of Skelac, I would start there. Um, Bonnie Rose Ward and her husband Sam embraced what what the mountain man and I would love to embrace is a life in Alaska and they lived on an island uh, and um, it was just amazing reading the winds of ski lack I felt like I was reading our story so much paralleled with our story of living in the tent in the wall tent and embracing this dream and Bonnie has an amazing way of writing her writing style just draws you in I could not put winds of ski lack down I I was up way too many hours and for like three days straight to just breeze through her book and finish it I couldn't do that now because of my health. I, it would just take me down. So I had to strategically read the sequel. But it was killing me. Um, her books are amazing. And yesterday, uh, the sequel was released on Amazon. So you can find both of her books by going to treyerwilderness.com slash Bonnie Rose Ward. It's W-A-R-D. I did an interview on her also. You can search our website and listen in on that interview that I did when she uh, wrote The Winds of Ski Lack. But uh, I met her through her book and um, have become extremely good friends with her. She is such a dear, sweet woman. Um, if you guys would keep she and her family in your prayers, yesterday as she's working really hard to self-publish her book, and I know how much time and energy that takes, her husband Sam had to get rushed to the hospital with an extremely high fever. Uh, he had an infection and uh, he needed to stay overnight to allow his white blood count to go up. And at the same time, her dad was uh, also rushed to the hospital um, with heart issues so her dad was released and is okay um, but could use some prayers for healing as well easy missus my Rhodesian is out here don't knock me off this porch girl sit down there we go thank you um, so keep them in your prayers please uh, she is just such a dear friend such a sweet lady and I encourage you to read her books they are an extreme uh, level of preparedness and I um, she is, and, and her skills, as well as the skills that we have used here, are 
how our Treyer Wilderness Academy has formed. When I was writing my book, I realized that it's very hard to put a lot of the skills we do into words. Um, they need to be hands-on, they need to be taught. So I'm very proud to say that TreyerWildernessAcademy.com will be, uh, the doors will be opening probably next week. Uh, our seed starting course will be the first thing that you guys will be able to start with. Um, there will be a skill of the month membership and for March that will be what we will be sharing as well as amazing classes every month to go along with the skill of the month. So. I encourage you guys, if you haven't already, go to TreyerWildernessAcademy.com and sign up for our waiting list. Thanks, Chad. I knew you would chime in on that. Chad is one of my best prayer warriors, so uh, keep them in your prayers. I have had the Winds of Ski Lack on my Amazon wish list for a while now. I guess I need to order it. Yes, you will absolutely love it, Kimberly. It's an awesome, awesome read. She's a great writer. Um, I'm encouraging her. Bonnie, if you tend to listen to this later and catch this, um, you need to write a cookbook to go along with all the amazing recipes that you tantalize us with in your cookbook and share that you are making. Now you need to share the recipes with us. So guys, do you have any questions? Do you have any input to add? Um, and I hope you agree with me that it is really important for us to believe in ourselves. We have to put aside our fears of what other people think, of how other people judge, of how other people make, you know, maybe not such nice comments when you're going through situations. Um, even even when you're healing, I know when I was when I was on the healing side of things, and I know that um, Jane and Ashley can probably relate. You know, you choose to do certain. Um, treatments uh, to make an effort to heal your body and you've done your research and your due diligence and other people just don't quite understand your ideas and 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 discourage you and that can be really hard you know so there's so many different levels in life where people you know may try to discourage us take us off course but be strong in yourself and believe in yourself and remember that again you know your worth is not you know, your value doesn't decrease based on someone else's inability to see your worth. So please remember that. And, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of mantras this year to encourage myself and to keep pushing myself forward. Uh, that was part of living with intention and um, being true to myself and being true to Jesus. And this happens to be one of them. And I encourage you to say that to yourself every day. If you question your worth and you question your value, this is something that you need to write on your mirror or on a slip of paper that you keep close by and just continue to remind yourself that. And I also encourage you to check out the blog post. I will add that link in the description. Um, but you can find it uh, being shared today on Facebook as well as on Instagram. So, guys, I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to join me. I will be back next Wednesday. In the meantime, I wish you a happy Easter. He is risen, and he is there to save us and guide us, and I hope that you guys all have a relationship with him. And um, like I said, I appreciate you joining me. I wish you all a very happy Easter with your family and good eats. Uh, check out our website for some great recipes if you're in search of. And uh, remember, fear comes from the father of lies. Don't believe the lie. If anyone needs prayer, please PM me via Facebook. God bless you all. That was from Chad. Like I said, Chad is one of my great prayer warriors and very true. Like I said, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And, you know, so often we blame that on God. And that's not God letting bad things happen. That's the enemy attacking. So, guys, have an awesome uh, weekend. I will see you next Wednesday and look forward to sharing the release of the Trier Wilderness Academy with you guys. Take care and God bless.